I'm going to share with you all of the books and curriculum that we're going to be using in our 2022 to 2023 school year. So I've already done curriculum videos and then did book hauls separately. But since I have this all out on the table, I thought it would be a good time to just share everything with you. So I had it all out here to sort and decide what I'm keeping in our homeschool room and what I'm putting upstairs until we're ready for it after Christmas. We'll see how interesting this is, along with the sounds of the basketball being played outside in the court. <laughs> I'm just going to start anywhere. So this is just a planner that I made up since we're doing Harry Potter is one of the themes this year for us. Magical homeschool. That's the cover I put on my planner. And this is what I use for our memory work. Here we have a year in the hundred acre wood. So there's a lot to this. Oh, here's the cards that I've printed off for our art cards. So once a week we do a like a picture study, an art study. Let's give you an example. So I have everything in there. And these are the student sheets. So I bound these separately. And there's a lot to this. So there's two copies for me, like for the parent guide. And then we have all the student sheets that Vivian will use. And there is a review coming of this. Yeah, I'm totally in love with this. So that is a year in the 100 acre wood. All right, next we're doing history quest this year and we're doing uh, the early times. So this is all of the activities, that sort of thing. I bought the actual book, like with the stories and everything on an MP3. So we listen to that every week, but here's our instructions for everything we do. Now here is the early times history notebook. And there's activities. So every week, Vivian is to do a travel log. This was the first one that she did. I think we still needed to add some things on there, but that is what we do every week. And here I had just printed off on a website um, our Roman numerals. So this is like games. So I cut them all out and laminated them. And I did, thought it was time Vivian learned her Roman numerals. So we'll do that this year as well. I purchased this history timeline notebook, but because of what I just showed you here and what we're doing, I actually feel like it was kind of redundant, but I have it now. So in the other one of these, I bought a vocabulary notebook and a fourth grade notebook, which I'll just show you a couple little things in here. Vivian loves this. So we have been adding to this. Vivian Rose, yes. <laughs> So this was the first painting we did for a hundred acre wood. Actually, Vivian did that. She sent out a free uh, file for a watercolor on Winnie the Pooh's birthday, the birthday of Winnie the Pooh's printing. And then, yeah, so this was our very first exercise in a Beowulf grammar. So that's all we put in there so far. So I did have some book guides and these are from Hearth Magic, which I absolutely love. And I will show this in more detail if you're interested. But I'll just do a quick flip through. So we're going to do Narnia at Christmas time. Yeah, these are gorgeous. These There's a lot of hands-on crafts and activities as well. So we're going to do Narnia. And then after Christmas, at some point, we're doing uh, gr the Green Ember. Yeah, look at those. Yeah, absolutely love them. Lots of There's lots of things to bake and... So I just threw this in. I always try to uh, do more of this fairy lore if it's um, for a country that we're doing. She does have some in here for Africa. So I'll be using that. Yeah, so we saw that. I just love adding this in. I think it's a lot of fun. So these are on fairies and I love adding folklores for the countries that we're doing. Should I actually put that with our Africa section. Okay, so I also pulled this out. Uh, Song School Spanish book. Love to do that this year before. This is too young for Vivian. Anyway, so we'll add that in at some point this year. And we're also going to do Norse mythology this year. And this is another little guide from Hearth Magic. 
So I wanted to add some fun things in there when we study North, Norse mythology. And these are the two books we're going to be using. So Dallaire's Book of Myths for North Myths. And this is the Child's Introduction to Norse Mythology. I absolutely love these books. And I just think they're really great for compact information. They just distill it in a way that's really understandable. I think it's a great complement to this book, Delaire's, which really puts things more in story format, which I also like. So I think they're very complementary. We use both of them for Greek mythology, and it was very successful. Now I'm going to go to the next pile. So this is my geography pile. We started off with Greece this year. Here's a little study, and this is by Thistles and Biscuit. So that's that study, and they also included cards. So this is Seek the Scholar. It's an ancient uh, Greek mines, the ancient Greek mines. And there's a little game in there that you can use. So yeah, here's some of the cards you can use. I always think these are great to have around. You could read like one a day while you're studying Greece. And these are cards, so you can play games with the great minds. Okay, I thought that was a great touch. Okay, and this is the book that we're using by Donna Ward to study Canada. So we finished Greece, we're going into Canada. This is a little one that I picked up. It's really simple. So just to give you an example, yeah, continental shelf, crevice. I love that it's all in one place. Yeah, I just think it keeps it really simple and it doesn't feel like too overwhelming. After we're done, Canada, we are studying Africa. So I bound a bunch of uh, three different things, I think, in here. So we have Amazing Africa, the Heritage Pack, and that's by Amber O'Neill Johnson. And I love the books that she's using for these as well. We own one and I think... We're getting the rest from the library. Then I also bought an introduction to African folk tales, and this again is by Hearth Magic. Yep. And these were little packs that I did up last year. This is I bought this off Teaching uh, Teachers Pay Teachers. So I took out the Africa section where all the countries are on the continent. And then it has all the information for all the flags as well. So I bound all those together. I'm also going to be using this Africa Land of Hope. And that again is by Donna Ward. And to go along with the Africa study, I did buy Guest Hollow. Um, I decided not to use the whole program this year because I wanted to kind of devise my own. This goes through the whole world, which is amazing. But there's a lot of, the reason I have it here is because I'm going to use it for reference. There's a lot of amazing references and resources in there that I can use. So also for our Africa study, I bought this Draw Africa, an easy step-by-step -step approach to drawing Africa. I've heard great things about these books. And last year, Vivian wanted to draw her South America as opposed to just fill it in all the time. So I would definitely grab that. This is Passport uh, to the World. This is a new one to us, you, your A to Z guided language tour. Now, I was told this isn't secular. I had I did look through it, and I, I really don't see much for concern, but I love adding in a bunch of different books just to refer to for fun when we're doing a country. And this is Africa Amazing Africa Country by Country. And I think this was part of the Heritage um, Pack. This was part of the books she is using this is one of the books yeah it's gorgeous look at that and i also picked up this africana an encyclopedia of an amazing continent i did do a flip through of this I'm, i'll link it if you want to see it and the last thing i picked up for our africa study was the Adventures of Spider West African Folk Tales. I always like, I said, I like doing folk tales. And this looked like a really good one. 
So I will be studying Africa from kind of like North Africa, South Africa, West Africa, East Africa. That's the approach I'm taking. We are doing guest hollows language arts this year. And that does include, well, you have to buy it separately, but within all the schedule and everything mapped out for the year is Beowulf grammar. So that is the teacher's guide. And here is the teacher's manual. I love it has a copy of everything that's in the student uh, manual. So I always know kind of what's going on just by referring to the teacher's manual. Now, I already have one of these out. We're using the first one. It's out in our homeschool space. So I just printed off the rest. And this is the second one we'll use. And then there's chapter three and chapter four. So there's tons of, yeah, see that? There's tons of hands-on work with this. A lot of cutting and pasting, that sort of thing. Just a bunch of different activities, which Vivian so far is loving. So I'm really happy with this purchase. I think this is going to make our year very special. At least one of the things that contributes to a special year. We're doing Xanner Blozer. Uh, handwriting. I got this used off of Amazon. I'm going to go through that with Vivian. And then there's a website where you can print off. You can put in the words and everything or sentences and paragraphs that you want her to copy. So I think I'm going to stick with this and then I'm going to subscribe to that website instead of getting more workbooks. Um, we'll see if I change my mind on that, but so far that's how I'm leaning. This is just an art book that I had for her, so I'll leave that there. Okay, we're doing all about spelling. And uh, so far I've purchased levels one to four, so we're definitely going to be doing that. And I bought um, a bunch of them used off somebody and it came with this little box and everything. So I'm really happy about that. I also bought the spelling notebook and we're actually using that. And I, this is the one I'm the most happy that I purchased. It's just so simple. She can just do all her lists on there. It's all in one place and yeah, loving it. Okay, with the guest hollow, there are a lot of books. This is a literature based study, which is why I was really drawn to it. And I'll show you all the fun things that uh, we're going to be using for that language arts. So another child's introduction to poetry. We had this on our shelf. So when it was, I saw that it was being used, I was really happy because we were going to start it last year. And when I saw it was on the list, I stopped and said, let's do it all next year. So yeah, that's perfect. Love these books. And English from the Roots Up. So we're learning uh, Greek and Latin. I say we because I'll, because I'll be learning along with Vivian. So I ended up buying volume two by mistake. I had to go back and purchase volume one. So hopefully this is like uh, successful. We haven't started this yet because now I have both volumes. And this is don't forget to write for the elementary grades. This is a time capsule, a seriously awesome journal. And this is for the year. We haven't put the year on Vivian Sandra. I'm not going to show you the inside of this because uh, well, I'll show you some in the back. Vivian already started this, so it's a bit personal, I think. Okay, that's one. That's fun. This one wasn't on a list, but I really wanted to get it. It looked like a lot of fun. Vocabulary cartoons. Kids learn a word a minute and never forget it. And there is a newer version of this out. Okay. Now this is for the parent uncovering the logic of English, a common sense approach to reading, spelling and literacy. And I haven't started that yet. So there's that. And also writer's toolbox, learn how to write letters, fairy tales, scary stories, journals, poems and reports. Now I think you can buy these books separate as well. Like I think this might be one book and this might be another book. I'm not I'm not completely sure, but I think that's what I figured out. Anyway, I had already purchased this that included all of it. And it's a lot of fun. It's a neat way to introduce some of these topics for sure. Now we have the story maker, creating silly sentences and stories with magnetic phrase tiles. Yeah. Okay. So we have to clear the fridge off for that. That's why we haven't started using it. I have too much on the fridge. Okay, this is Illustrated School. Let's draw a story. I think this is adorable. Okay. And this is how to tell a story. And these are blocks. So you take them apart and use them. Oh, these are blocks. So you take them apart, use them to tell a story. This is another one I picked up just because I thought it was fantastic. 
The No Nonsense Guide to Grammar, an awesomely fun guide uh, to the way we use words. And then we have what your fourth grader needs to know. This is by Core Knowledge. I really like these. So we're in the fourth grade. I got this one. We're still working through the some stuff from the previous ones. But definitely hope to get a chunk of this done this year. Okay, so I have a bunch of music books. We're going to study music this year. This one is for me, Help Your Kids With Music, a unique step-by-step -step visual guide. This is DK. I really want to know more about my daughter's in her fourth year of piano. So I don't know if I can use this to actually catch up quickly with where she, where she is, but we'll see. And this is the history of uh, um, music musicals. So this has the illustrated guide to musicals and music illustrated guide. So one of the other ones you'll see under here, um, is I did pick up this uh, musicals DK book the definitive illustrated story so I think a lot of this might be similar but I still haven't had a chance to go through that but that is my suspicion but we're doing uh, musicals once a week so we're going to study that this year just for complete fun this is definitely a book you can have on your shelf for like years I think that's worth the investment the other one that we'll be starting off the year with is the Children's Book of Music, an introduction to the world's most amazing music and its creators, also a DK book. And I finally found a used one that had the CD with it. I'm very happy about that. This is so accessible for children and it opens up so many conversations and places to add in things. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I was really excited that I finally found one with the CD. And I did purchase this from Thistles and Biscuits, Living Harmonies. And this is, they studied 10 different genres of music from around the world. Also really cool. This is so beautiful. Look at it. Now I did show more of this in a planning video that I did or a prep video. So I'll link that as well in case you want to see inside of that. Okay, that's all the music. And next I'm going to move into, we are doing a Harry Potter study this year. So we are doing What is Magic? This is project based. So that's our curriculum for that. This is all the project templates for all the amazing projects we're going to be doing. Then we're also doing Build Your Libraries, Harry Potter. This is for the Sorcerer's Stone unit study. And we have some things we're doing a little bit from Waldock's Wizard and Wands, but it's primarily going to be uh, what is magic and build your library. And there I have the rest of them. If we do, we'll probably do Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for sure after Christmas and maybe another one. I So I have enough here for us to do three different studies this year, but for Harry Potter, we'll see what happens. Okay, along with the Harry Potter, there are science studies. One of them that we're going to be doing is the rocks and minerals. And this is a unit study that I bought from Stephanie Hathaway Designs. And I'll just quickly, so there's, I haven't got everything cut out yet. Absolutely gorgeous and so full of information. There was a book list there, of course. Here's some of the ones I did cut out. Yeah, beautiful. And then she has a whole bunch that I haven't cut out yet that we can use for like memory, a memory game which I think is always so much fun. We both, Vivian and I both like that. And it really does actually help you remember the names and the features of certain things. Okay, and I just pulled some things we had on our shelf. So this is the Magic Treehouse, uh, Rocky Road Trip, Rock Science, Rocks and Minerals. I mean, this is a level two, but it's a quick little read. And uh, the Rocking Book of Rocks. Now, hopefully this isn't too repetitive. I think I get carried away. Didn't realize what was on my shelf. Anyway, if it is, we'll just read one of them. So I did pick up a National uh, Gemstone and Fossil Dig Kit. And I bought this book to go with it, Skunk and Badger, because I guess one of them works in a rock quarry. So, or something to that effect. Thought that would be a fun read. Another science study we're doing is an owl unit study. And again, this one's from Stephanie Hathaway. And here's all the gorgeous cards for that. Yeah. 
So we have a bunch of cards for that as well. I like hanging, having these around. It makes it easy to read one or two a day. And uh, we have tons of picture books. We've already started reading those. Okay, in terms of fiction, we have DeFarley Mowat's uh, Owls in the Family. And I picked up this one, A Place for Owls, by Catherine McEver. And these are true animal stories. I thought that'd be a nice little add-on. Okay, I have a bunch of Harry Potter books that I'll show you. So these are in the studies. The Mythical Creatures Bible. And I think this was in Build Your Library's book list. Look at that. So much fun. Okay, I also picked up The Science of Harry Potter. Again, this was in the um, Build Your Library list. Who is J.K. Rowling? That should be an interesting discussion at this point in history. And it was a little mini unit study that came with the Waldock Way curriculum. Okay, I also picked up The Sorcerer's Companion, A Guide to the Magical World of Harry Potter. So I'm not sure how we're going to read all these. It's an awful lot of reading, so I'll let you know. This is a children's book of mythical beasts and magical monsters. This is a DK book, and I, oh, I love it, love it. Vivian was very excited when she opened up the box and this came into the house, let me tell you. Okay, and we also have another DK book, Mythical Beasts, Magical Creatures. Another beautiful one. This one isn't as dense, so we'll probably start off with this one. And we have Quidditch Through the Ages. Now, this was the only book that was on the list for what is magic. And of course, I went and got the illustrated one because I absolutely wanted it for our collection anyways, and we would have purchased it anyway. So that worked out great. The unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. We're going to be baking. The Waldock Way had a cookbook guide that I'm really in love with. It's every chapter. It tells you what page on here referenced the food they're talking about. This is just a fun little thing I picked up. It's Quidditch. It's how to make, well, you'll see the pictures. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of fun. And this is a field guide to Griffin's unicorns and other mystical beasts, mythical beasts. Uh, the Wizard's Workshop, a science activity book. So we're probably going to start off with this one. Looks like so much fun. Yeah, look at it. And then I got added this. We already had it. The uh, official Harry Potter baking book. And some coloring books that we had on hand anyway. So there we go. Those are those. Okay. Also with our Harry Potter study, we are doing astronomy. So I did pick up this Constellations memory game. And here's some things I just had on my shelf. This is a Night Sky Watcher. So I'll just show you the inside. So that's kind of neat. And I had this on the shelf as well, so we're going to use it. Smithsonian a Starfinder STEM Project Pack. I had picked this up from Book Outlet. Yeah. And then there's a step-by-step -step guide to the night sky. Now we have another uh, child's introduction to the night sky. So that's three on this uh, table for this year. Oh yeah, they came with um, some Starfinder glow in the dark stickers. Okay, and I picked up this, I couldn't resist it. An illustrated tour of what we see in the stars. Now, these were on a list uh, from Build Your Library, I think. Dot to dot in the sky, stories in the stars. I thought the concept of this was so neat. And this was another one that I grabbed because I thought it was so cool. Stories of the Aurora. All right. And I did think I had another rock and mineral book, and I did. Here it is. And this is a DK book, my book of rocks and minerals. And I just threw this in for fun. Constellations activity book. She can do that while I'm reading to her. We are also doing Herbology. So this is a kid's herb book for children of all ages. 
And I did have a Thinking Tree Rocks and Minerals book. So hopefully we can use that with our rock study. Hopefully that fits in. Okay, only a couple more books here. This is Night Sky Atlas, a critical essential guide, complete with detailed maps, photography. Oh, this is so cool, by the way. Yes. All right, so see that? There's a couple like that. And we have here. Yeah, it's really cool. This is one of my favorites, I think, for this study. Yeah, again, DK book. And this was just a little one that I picked up at, you know, used bookstore. It's Owls, a Portrait of the Animal World. Yeah. Whew, that's everything on this table. Hopefully, I don't know, we've been pulling from it and putting back. I was trying to do the video before I pulled everything out, but because we already started school, we've been pulling things out and putting things back. So hopefully I have everything on here, but anyway, it's a lot. It was fun to share with you. And since we already had it out, it's just fun to look at it all together. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with another video.